Hello, I'm Brad Ritz, and this is Synthwave Secrets, Episode 3. When you think Synthwave, you probably think like some Aussie guy, right, with a muller, you know, grating a lemon, sitting on top of a fucking car driving through a rainforest. That's just it. Today, I'm going to um, show you guys how to make some, well first, you're just going to have this lemon. So, because I really like lemons. We're going to delve into the world of synthwave chords. So you might be expecting that I'm going to um, show you all the musical terms, but that's not the case this time. So I've seen some of the tutorials and they're like, oh, this is like a, this, mm, very healthy for you. This is like um, an augmented fifth. And, uh, and if you change one, one semitone upward or below, you'll get a blah, 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 blah. That's not what the fuck I'm doing, man. If you wanted me to go on about shit like that, you'd just pick up a fucking book, wouldn't you? And learn about fucking theory shit, right? Which is dry and boring. Who wants to... F Do you really want to sit there and learn all that? Oh, semi-quavers and all this shit? Fuck that. What are you, fucking Mozart or shit, right? Maybe if you do, that's okay, that's good, it might help. But you don't need that with me. With me, I'm gonna show you good chords for synth wave, basically. You know, the good ones, I promise you. And at the end, at the end of it, you can also go and buy my pack, which has them arranged in MIDI format for you as well. There is the odd palm tree around here. It's fucking... I got this nice pack that I did recently on um, Poly 6. Are you not using Poly 6? I swear, if you're not using Poly 6, take your head out of your ass, mate. Because that bass line, I must say, on Poly 6, I said in another video, the bass line is the most popular bass line in synth wave. It's like the hard line, what is it? Fat line bass. Um, I did a variation of that in my pack, you know, um, and um, so go grab my Poly 6 pack. Some of you are buying my packs, right? You need to buy more of my packs, you know? You know, in the first episode that I was doing, right, I actually sniffed some asbestos. Unfortunately, that's led to complications. So I'm at the doctor, right? I go in the doctor. Anyway, he's like, I love your synth wave, by the way. I'm like, thanks, thanks. And he's like, oh, I listen to Arcade Sun all the time. I'm like, thanks. And then he said, unfortunately, you've got cancer. And I'm like, really? Cancer? I better start saving up for um, a decancerization operation. He said, you bet you do. And um, so that's why I need you, you Synthway producers, to help help Arcade Summer through, well, you know, Okay, so I am uh, Brad Ritz is Arcade Summer, not fucking Max Fox, all right? And if you're thinking that I killed Max Fox, you thought wrong. I didn't kill Max, Max Fox, all right? I didn't kill him. Read my lips. I did not kill mm -mm. the Patch Bay channel. Tell people about the Patch Bay channel. Bring people to the Patch Bay. The Patch Bay channel. The patches on there are excellent. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can have notifications. Fuck me. Fuck me. Anyway, so we'll just get into um, the synth wave chords. And after you've seen this episode, you'll be um, knowing exactly what, what to do. I'll tell you also which presets sound good with the chords. So let's get into it. So I better do this video, I better do this video, this tutorial, because I'll, I'll check my Discord. And this is and Gary, the person who created the patch bay, uh, saying saying this, you know. For fuck's sake, man, like, where's episode three, mate? You, you said you'd do it two weeks ago, mate, like. You know, look at him, look at him what he says, like. Get off your ass, you fucking convict. He's calling me a convict. Fucking... We need more subscribers, mate, on the channel, you gobshite. You fucking dickhead. Got family to feed, mate, like fucking hell, mate. Nah, it's not the case at all. That's, that's fake. He's, he's complete opposite of that. Okay, well, 
I got a bit of a bastard attitude towards music. Like, when I was in school, I didn't give a shit about fucking doing music. Yeah, and I didn't want to know about notes. They forced us to do music, and it was it was just such a poor introduction to music in school. It's the worst way you can possibly introduce someone to music by, in my opinion, by saying, oh, you know, sing choir songs and, 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 and you know, what's this note? And you stand in front of the class and sing this note and the teacher was like rude and just condescending and it's, it's just what's horrible. So I just thought from that exposure to music, I, I, I was thinking, fuck music. Fuck this dickhead and his choir and his piano. And he presses a key and you're meant to try and sing it. And if you don't, you humiliate it or some shit. He's a dickhead and fuck his notes, right? But the truth is, music, oh, I really love music, right? So I just went my own avenues. I went, fuck all your stupid music, you, 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 you know, your stale old bullshit, right? And I, I just taught myself music. The way that I did it was without reading books and fucking all this shit, I just uh, looked for patterns in the keys, you know, and I just went by my ear, you know. So I've all, all I'm going to show you is from my own learning perspective, which had no, inf you know, I just work it out myself from my own way. So if you've ever had that experience where you're going like, oh, I like music, but it's really daunting, it's really... Yeah, really. Yeah, 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 on your way. Jesus Christ. So, how did I, how do I begin to understand this pattern that I'm seeing in front of me, right? That it's, yeah, it doesn't make the most amount of sense. Like, it could possibly make a bit more sense if it didn't have these gaps. These gaps seems to me what makes it so much diff so much harder to grasp. Uh, like it's not a natural progression, really. You know, you got so you know that if I go like this, that's all good, right? Then you you'll press other things and it's not good. You know, you're like you you know that. If you press this, it's going to be shit, right? You know what, a, you, just the first, the first thing to note is what kind of patterns sound good and what kind of patterns sound bad, yeah? You, unless you're after this for some horror movie or what, it's not, it's not really cool. But, um, you know, you know what sounds good. You know that that sounds good and that's... Still good, but it's on the borderline. It's a bit just... You know that sounds good. You know that sounds good. But does this sound good? No. That doesn't sound good. So you, your ear can tell you fucking when there's conflicting notes that are shit, basically. That's a good guide, your ear, obviously. So then I, I was noting the patterns. I was thinking visually. Well, we're talking about, you know... Some combinations of notes hate each other. Other combinations of notes love each other. And then there's some grey areas in between where, you know, they a bit hate each other, <laughs> which is what I think is more like the suspense kind of things, right? Edgy shit. You got these. Uh, now, one note is going up to two keys, basically, here. That's so... so Right, and then just if you go up one key, it's only half a note. Right, and then you got this half a note here. Right, and um, you know that fucks everything, doesn't it? Right, otherwise it would be all neat, wouldn't it? It's just out of whack here. Right, so. If you can, you can begin to play, um, you know, the keys better. If your brain can automatically avoid what you, you you're gonna find sounding like crap, right? And what you, and steer towards what's not gonna sound like crap. 
on and also to compensate for this bullshit. If you can just go, I don't see this bullshit, I only see this. Alright. So what I'm saying is, you just know that it's not this, it's this, or this, All right? All right? Um, just think of shapes as well, like, think of sha your finger doing shapes. These are not synthwave sounding things. So what do you, what chords do I jump to straight away for synth wave? Okay, I'll just start with just the simplest things I can do. You just chuck. We'll start with the black notes primarily. All right, you just just do this. You got one there. You know, any all, most combinations of black notes near each other with a gap in, are very synth wavy. That's very synth wavy, right? That's very synth wavy sounding. Very synth wavy. See, all I'm doing is just a bunch of black notes. That's it. See? Nice. Alright? And you low, add in some bass down the bottom. Alright, that, that's very synth wave. Okay. Now, things you can do safely with this is you want to deviate a, a note or one note out of the whole thing uh, down to the whites. You can safely do this one. See that? That's your thumb on there. Like. So this is nice, isn't it? This is the first one I want to tell you about. That's really nice. So check out the bass action down here. You'd have your bass line going ding 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 ding. So it might be going. See that? Uh, but you just so just to support the chords, I press a bass note. So you see this one going down here, up and down on the edge here, that's it. These staying the same. You could throw in a few more if you want. And no, that's fine. Or you can mimic this on a lower octave, you know? Like, I mean, down on the... And just, so you mimic it on the, a lower octave, right? And maybe get rid of something there. And then that's going down there, so is this. See? So you got this, and you can always just mimic a part of this. Say so say this part. You can mimic somewhere else where it's the same pattern. You got the three notes here, you know you where you are there, and then down here you do the same, mimic. Or not mimic. Yeah. So, anyway. So you got this. You know where else you can do this thumb thing? You can do this. You can do this here or here. Or here. All right, there's some places you can't do it. You can't do it there. That's not synth wavy. All right. You can't do it here. No, nah, nothing. So, you're always safe to do it here and here. Those things you can take for granted. 
So another thing I notice about synth wave chords, often it has uh, these, uh, the beginning, the first note of the chord and the last note stays the same and the middle note goes, changes. So the more notes you can have in the chord, uh, the more maybe rich sounding the chord can be. Pretty much all of these are going well. That's a very nice one. Check that. And this is just from piling up the black notes. See, I'm doing that, that thing. But now I'm using my fing middle finger just to go down the, in the middle there. All right. Sometimes if you're doing like horror stuff, maybe, this. That will sound really cool when you pitch bend it like eerie, eerie fucking horror synths. You, the reason is because you've got a, a, a half note going on and that's the discordant. Right. Perfect for horror synth shit. Right? Or combinations of that. And so you got up here, you can do that. Then um, if you were to ignore, if you once you get good at ignoring this factor, then you start to really start doing chords. And some of the chords I'm going to so show are actually not particularly synthwave, but they sound, they work, they're very basic chords, but they still work for synthwave. Like um, the game, this is what I call the game show sequence. Black keys are the easiest to do, and you get some great things. And and if you can just go even basic, the most basic of chords with one hand. All these, no problem. But white chords you, you can do too. So the first... Um, and last key of the chord, in a lot of cases, stays the same in synth wave chords, in a lot of cases. So you, you get this sort of high school, um, you know, high, high school 80s shit when you do this. You see? Um... Let's have a look at that with a bit of a bass. All right. So you see how the, 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 the notes stay the same on the start and the end. We can look at that later. When we, let's just have a look now uh, at some of our the chords that I've included in my um, chords pack that I have here. Uh, let's see here. Uh,
I got heaps of packs available on the heaps. You like tell you like tell you know LX2. You like that? I got a mega pack on that. It's got like um, a lot of people are very happy with the mega packs. It's got like 70, I think it was 97 presets per mega pack in a, a set of four. So just endless presets for tell you know. And very soon I'm gonna start releasing um, my packs for Tell Mod. The new, um, I know I'm pushing my packs a lot, but I got cancer. See on the screen um, all the notes that I press. Oh, 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 oh never mind. I, just buy my pack, I'll get another one. So, <laughs> um, so yes, where, where was I? Um, no, I'll, I'll do. Look at that goat. There's a goat there. Hey Cody, that's a, that's now the Synthwave goat. It's the Synthwave community. Synthwave goat, what 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 do you think of Arcade Summer? Yeah, what? FM84. Ah, oh, I'll just keep driving. Oh, no worry about it. Alright, um, okay, yeah, look, the chickens. Oh, oh there's another car coming, pull over. Good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to the cancer though. I mean, still buy the packs though, right? I'll do the cancer dance in my cancer pants. Normal drums. Crystal jump. 
normal drum, crystal drum, normal drum, crystal drum.